Hey, so <clears throat> time to work in the uh, Mission Inspiration Journal. Um, the least prompt I wanted to uh, do a autumnal thing, so I'm going to work on some brown paper. Very sorry about my throat. And you might hear children screaming outside. They're just on the way home from school, I think. Sorry for that. And I'm sorry if you hear my stomach start to rumble. I can smell... I'm just starting to be able to smell my dinner in the slow cooker. <laughs> We're doing fajitas today. <clears throat> so, let's just cut this down. I'm not going to glue it straight down because some of the steps later on I'm going to need to get underneath and things like that. It's, I might be adding some staples and some stitching and so on. So. <clears throat> Just drop that over there for a minute. is to add washes of gesso or colour. So what I might do is grab some gesso, do a quick wash and then grab some colour and do a wash of colour as well. Once the gesso is dry, it gives me a little bit of time to think. So let's see if I blow brush it's not totally stiffened up. I'm just going to sort of do a dry, brushy sort of wash. Messy kind of. Well, you know what I might do? Should I get my bray around? some of the suggested colours and then we'll add a wash of colour as well. So the suggested colours pear coral and turquoise. I don't have anything that's close to the pear colour. It's like a green yellow. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna use this sap green because it's a bit more in my opinion and I'm not going to put that on I'm just going to underneath so let me grab the baby wipe. Don't know how but that's 
button torn. There we go. So, <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> the next step is to stamp all over the page. I'm using my dark brown ganache stays on. Somehow I've moved. That's very odd. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Once more, I think. That'll do. Sit. Some of this fired brick. Um, I 
no idea what these flowers are. But I was looking for some foliage and this is the one I've got. It's got this foliage on it, so. I wish I knew what I'd done with my uh, blocks. Yep, yep, I like it. So let's put this stays on. Now then, let's have a look at the pumps. So, we've stamped all over the page. Make marks with fingers or found items. Um, hmm. You see, I have this little baby bubble wrap. Okay, of this. Mm. Maybe. Some aged mahogany. I'm going to put this away. some sort. I might have a look at my napkins. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I couldn't find a bird to fit, so we're going to use a different type of bird. <laughs> I'm going to use this lady. Um, and I'm hoping to find a nice sassy phrase to go with her later on. Finish the page off. I think she's got a bit of sass about her as well. Focal image. I'm going to fussy cut her. There we go. <clears throat> As you can see, my uh, knife is a little blunt, but I just needed it to give me a little start there, so. Just go, sorry. I'm gonna grab my sleeve on. I have a sponge, where did that sponge go? <clears throat> yeah, okay. yeah, I'm going to go around the edges. Let's see if I can show you this. Look at that.
getting a bit breezy. <laughs> right. <clears throat> now we need to stick her down. I might put her this side actually. I usually put my images there. It's time to mix it up a bit maybe. Should we go over down there? I didn't realize how hard I was squeezing. <laughs> I'm not gonna get back in there, am I? Ooh, dear. protective coat because we're not finished and there's going to be more layers and I may need to wipe something off or remove something if I don't like it sort of thing we'll cover her with and then she's sealed and protected so I'm doing a little bit of background onto her but that's <clears throat> okay. So, oops, <laughs> stick my finger in. If you were interested in the way the image came from, it was this one. I don't know if you will still be able to get it. They did go on sale just recently, so we'll just have to see if they've still got them. <coughs> now then, let's have a look at the next one. Is it making marks? Drag or scrape paint onto your page. <coughs> Grab some paint. Let's see what we've got. Ugh. 
a bit at the top to frame it. There we go. That's it. That's all I'm doing with that. <clears throat> the next step. Glue fabric fragments. Okay. So. Put these sort of I think they were orange staples but they've gone a bit faded. get them in. There we are. <clears throat> and I was thinking some lace and some hessian or whatever that is. So either there or Perhaps this side. Can't tell because it keeps curling up on me. And I'm going to use the staples because the next step is to use stitches or staples. So we'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll try anyway because it's only a small stapler. I'm not sure if it'll go through. Um. No the answer. There's paint everywhere. <laughs> Always tidy up before you move on to the next step. Anyway. Hmm. I don't know where my big stapler is.
See if I can get it through just the base. Yep. Nope. No. Oh, it's ripped. Don't do this while your paper's wet. Next step is for metallic accents or highlights. Mm. So I found this quick antique. Um, it doesn't use any of the words, but one of the words is serenity, and this is its peace. So it kind of fits. And I'm going to pop that there.
<clears throat> and we'll clip this sort of straight. And then that will be my page done. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And I hope you enjoy my Halloween page when I get that done done. Thanks again. <laughs>